Let's get our prototype to control our blade and show all the awesome effects we want. I've already set up this blade, but don't worry, I'll show you how to put a blade together in just a few minutes. I've also put a link to the code in the description, so if you're confused about anything, just check that out or leave a comment. The first thing we need to do is open up the library manager, type in fast LED, and download the fast LED library so we can control the LED strips. Then at the top, we can type hash include fastled.h. Then let's define a constant LED pin set to 3 and button pin set to 4 four so we can access the pins the button and the LEDs are connected to. Then we need to define some variables for the LED strips. We'll have a num LEDs which I'll set to 265 because that's about how many LEDs we'll be using, a brightness which I'll set to 64 because that's the maximum, an LED type which is the specific model of LED, in our case it's WS2812, then we'll define a color order which in our case is GRB for green then red then blue. Then we'll create a CRGB LEDs array with num LEDs items in it. Now CRGB is just a variable that contains three integers, one for red, one one for green, one for blue, and some other stuff that allows the library to see it as an LED. Then we'll create a bool activated that will tell us whether the saber is lit up or not, and a bool button down that will hold whether or not the button is pressed. I'll also need an in LEDs per frame, so when we're turning on the LEDs one by one to create the drawing effect, it's a bit slow, so I'm going to turn them on three by three instead, so I'll set this to three. We'll also need to create an int R, an int G, and an int B to be the current color of the saber. So the red, green, and blue values, each from 0 to 255. I'll set red and green to 255 and blue to 0 to get a nice yellow color. In the setup function, we'll start by running fastled.addleds, and then in chevrons, LED type, LED pin, and color order. Then in parentheses, LEDs, num LEDs. And then fastled.set brightness, brightness. Then we can run pin mode, button pin, input, to set up the button. Then we'll create an unsigned int off array with three items in it and set it to 0, 0, 0. Then I'll call the function set whole saber to color and pass in this off array. So we can set the whole saber to off. Of course, the set whole saber to color function doesn't exist yet, so I'll create it down below the void loop function. This will be a void set whole saber to color and we'll need an unsigned int color array with three items. The first thing I'll do is create a for loop going from zero to num LEDs and inside of it I'll set LEDs LED, so the LED in the LEDs array at this index, to CRGB color zero, color one, color two. So basically we're looping through all of the items in the LEDs array and setting them all to the color that was passed into this function. Of course changing it from an int array to a CRGB value. Then we'll run fastled.show to send the colors from the array to the actual LEDs. Now that we're setting the entire lightsaber to black or off when the Arduino first boots up, let's add some code in the loop function so when we press the button the blade shows the activation effect. Let's start by setting int button state equal to digital read button pin. Then we'll check if not button down and button state is equal to high. So if the button wasn't down the last time we checked but it is down now then we should activate the saber or deactivate it if it's activated. So if activated deactivate saber else activate saber. At the bottom let's start by creating activate saber. I'll create a for loop going from 0 to less than or equal to num LEDs divided by 2 because remember half of the LEDs are on each side of the blade and we want this to increase by LEDs per frame so we can control how fast the blade draws. Then inside of that loop I'll create another loop going from 0 to less than or equal to LED. So the outer loop will go from 0 all the way up to the last LED and each time we change the outer loop we'll use the inner loop to light up all of the LEDs from 0 to the outer loop's current value. Inside of this we'll set LEDs I to CRGB RGB and LEDs num LEDs minus I to CRGB RGB. So we'll turn on the zeroth LED at the same time as we turn on the last LED and then we'll turn on the first LED at the same time as we turn on the next to last LED and so on. Then we'll run fastled.show inside of the outer loop so that each time we increase how much of the blade is lit we also show it. Then outside of that loop so once the blade is activated we want to set activated to true. Now I'll copy the entire function down below this and rename it to deactivate saber and all I'm going to change is to set num LEDs divided by 2 minus i and num LEDs divided by 2 plus i to CRGB 000. So instead of turning on LEDs starting at the base of the blade and going up to the top, we're turning off LEDs starting at the top and coming back down towards the base. We'll also need to set activated to false at the end of the function. Now the blade is activating and deactivating and it looks awesome. But we have to edit the code if we want to change the color, so let's make it so when we double click the button it goes into a color changing mode 
in the next video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the series.